Happy, Happy National, National Beer, Beer Day. Day and welcome back to the Pink Envelope. We are celebrating National Beer Day with a beer hall slash wine hall slash perfect drinks to take poolside. Uh, we need to be able to see them. So okay, let's go. Let's clear this desk. Oh. All right, here we are. It's a lot of stuff. I have been researching, aka drinking, sampling, testing, many a drink so that I can bring you this haul today. Now, this is not like this big list goal of all the wine and beer boxes that are out there. No, 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 no. This is intention filled. I have tested, tasted, and either am recommending them or not recommending them in this video. I will say majority of them I am recommending, but I do have one for giggles. So I have five wine options, two alternatives, and, and two beers. Two beers. And so what I basically want to show you guys is really kind of great summer drinks, great spring and summer drinks. Some of these are in bottles, some of these are keto, some of these are low sugar, some of these are in cans, some of them are make your own, Okay. some of them are done, we got a little bit of everything. There is no order on this haul, I'm just gonna grab boxes and go, actually, there is a little bit of order, we're gonna follow what I wrote here so I don't get confused, because <laughs> we have, how many? All right, so we've got nine boxes to show you today. <laughs> Let's dive in uh, with Bruvana. Do I have it? No, I think it's on your side. Bruvana. So, we're gonna tell you about it really quickly. Show you what the box looks like. If you like what you are seeing, go down below to the description. I have worked really hard on these descriptions. There's coupon codes, link to sign up, more about the frequency. Since it's alcohol, there's a lot of shipping stipulations on these different boxes. So, go down below if you're wondering about shipping. But basically, we wanted to just show you, show you an overview. We can't drink everything on camera, we can't like dive into everything on camera, or we'll be here for like all day. Which I mean, we're, dr we're on the drinking side, so we wouldn't <laughs> no, mind, but you fun. guys might get a little bored. So, uh, this is Bruvana. It's by City Brew Tours Beer Club. So basically, you're gonna tour a city's breweries from the comfort of your own home. Sounds fun. It sounds fun, right? I'm, I'm titling this for the lazy beer drinker who loves to discover new beers. Uh, that's kind of you. Yes, okay, so we've got uh, Ooh, a postcard with yeah. it looks like a sticker. A which, sticker, uh, okay. So this talks about how it works. Oh, and it says the city. Well, I guess it says the city yeah, right there. Yeah, Milwaukee. We're touring Milwaukee in this one. I'll take that, and here's a sticker, cute. I'm guessing this is one of the beers or something that is inside. This is a monthly subscription at $79.99 and they do offer prepay discounts, meaning if you subscribe for six months, you're gonna pay less per box. Or if you subscribe for three months or a, a year, not so bad. Uh, free shipping in the US. If you use the coupon code PINK UPGRADE, you get $20 off your first subscription. Oh, nice. Uh, so we're showing Milwaukee here. And the Brews Less Traveled Beer Club is your passport to exploring the best hyper-local craft breweries across the US. Each month will take you on a Virgil City Brew Tour, showcasing the unique flavors and styles of beer. The monthly box contains eight hand-picked beers from four of the best breweries. That's not bad. Yeah, this is a oh, really, that's cool, really looking. cool way that they pack it, too. It's uh, kind of interesting. So, slides out. Okay. Uh, look, podcast you can listen to. Oh, that's fun. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, I've heard of Brews Less Traveled. Well, so this is a travel agency for beer. Like, like oh. you can go really legitimately book a tour. Okay. But if you can't go out and book a tour, you can book a home tour. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. This might be the coolest, like, can packaging system I've ever seen. That Last is, time I opened this, I was super impressed with the way. It's very cool. As soon as I figure out how to open it. So as you guys know, I am not the biggest beer lover, but I Jonathan the is lover. the biggest beer lover. And yeah. he goes through waves of, like, liking beer to loving it, and you are definitely in the loving it yes, stage. Yes, yes. So, okay. 
Broken Bat Brewing Co. Awesome. This is a hazy IPA. And a cold a IPA. cold IPA. I've never had a cold IPA. I don't even know the difference between the I two. Know. I'm guessing it's probably the way that it's brewed. Oh, very cool. Oh, actually, it'll probably tell me I'll right say, yeah. Here. So look at this thing okay, so right here. Okay, so cold IPA. Baseball Loving Brewery has brewed a special beer made with corn grown on the iconic farm of the 1988-9 film Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams! So it's, that's, but, okay. I feel like we should show the kids that movie. So, while Jonathan opens those, let me show you these. You like take the tour. Like each week, you can like follow along and be a part of, or you can just, you know, expedite it into one evening. <laughs> so this is one. Then this is Gathering Place. So these are, so that is the Broken, Broken Bat, Bat Brewing. And so this is a Gathering, gathering place. place. Raised Grain Brewing Company. Love these cans. Yeah, and they're. Um, these are sharp, man. And this is Mob Craft, and this is who you got the sticker from. Look. Okay. Very cool. Too legit to wit. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, wit, wit beer. I love wit beers, though. Uh, and That's a sour right. ale. Sour ales are a close second to my favorite. Low funk. Okay, so what is so aesthetic on this one? That right here. So aesthetic. <laughs> so it says on here. Tune into live virtual tastings with host Brian Tuesdays at 8.30. You scan right there. So you literally, oh, each week, very fun. tune in very and do fun. your tour. I think this one's cool. Oh, yeah. And the reason I got this one for you is because I think guys have a tendency just to kind of drink through and then they're like, what? But when you slow down and you like read the notes and uh -huh. the tasting notes, uh -huh. you start to realize you really do love some yeah, of these. Yeah. And then when I know what he really loves, it makes it very easy for me to go to the store or like a regular grocery store or a liquor store and buy more of it. It's true. And so I think that this is gonna be a lot of fun. I, I love this, the fact that I, I can taste beers that I've never heard of and yeah. breweries I've never heard of, especially ones that are all local, like in the same city. I think that is awesome. Are we gonna have to plan a trip to Milwaukee now? <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, Father's Day, we got, we got a little bit of time for Father's Day, but I wanted to release this before spring and summer because beer. this is like easy throw in the ice chest for the lake, the river, the pool, the whatever, and make it fun. I also wanted to find some at-home cool nights for guys. So, like, if you yeah. and all the guys you play, what's your little game? Oh, sorry, not supposed to say a little. What is your, what is your, your manly game? I play video games with my friends. Mm -hmm. So what if y'all all had this and you could taste beers together oh, yeah. and discuss no, what you cool. like and didn't like? Your yeah. crew would like that. Well, we also just meet up every once in a while just to hang out, so. And y'all done whiskey. Yep. Here we go, we got your beer oh, option. we do beers too. And this, well, I mean, we I've purchased you a whiskey tasting oh, yeah. all the way through. Oh, I've yeah, never right, 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 done right. a beer and I felt like this one's better. I love this yeah, one. Yeah, very cool, very fun, love it. Great, great idea. Let's bounce over to a wine. This is, this is like my staple go-to wine. Okay. Okay, so this is Wine Insider, basically like what I consider to be my tried and true, my staple. Yep. If you had to have a wine subscription that you just wanted to keep on hand and keep going, I highly recommend Wine Insider. Bruvana would be a great one for beer. Yep. Just keep that one on. I say keep it coming. I like Wine Insider because you can totally check these wines out and rate these wines independent from the subscription. The other day, I went into the liquor store and was trying to buy whatever you were asking me to buy, something whiskey or vodka or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna add on some new wines. Then I realized I was completely overwhelmed and ended up buying a bottle that had the Wine Insider sticker on it from the liquor store. And <laughs> oh, I was like, fun. well, this is why I should just stick with the subscription. I come into the store and I buy it anyways. Uh, it is a monthly or quarterly subscription. Price varies on how many bottles you buy, what type of bottles, it just, really can't give you a price point, it varies. Shipping has its own little nuance. So I'm just gonna point you down below to the description. Three to five bottles, six plus bottles, exclusions on states. So go check it out down there to see where you fall. But I will tell you, use the URL below. They did say they have a special going for you guys. You get 15 bottles of full-size wine bottles for only $89. Oh, wow. Shipped to you. Oh, wow. New subscribers only, uh, so don't, okay. yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. like, you yeah. know. Oh, it's a good deal. Yeah, yeah, it's a really, really good deal. Um, but if you stay on for a second subscription, you get this, like, deluxe wine connoisseur wine opening package. So it's not like you just get bonus okay. on your first box. Okay. You get your bonus in your first box. Your second box goes out, and I think... 
like $150 for the models. It's still a very fair mm -hmm. price point mm -hmm. within the subscription. Wine Insider is a great club because you can build your own subscription to match you. Reds, whites, or a mix. You choose the frequency. I do bigger orders quarterly because it saves more money and wine's easy to store, but you don't have to do that. They have a great satisfaction guarantee. I haven't had to use it yet, but if you've got a bottle of wine that you can't stand, you can exchange it out, which is amazing. It's easy to skip, easy to cancel when you need to. All of it can be done on your online account, which is also where you rate your wines. It is just easy. It's just easy to use. And for me, a big qualifier is how easy is something to use. I don't want to be stuck fighting something difficult. Oh, you're going to be excited about this. I'm always excited when it comes to Wine Insider. Okay, so <laughs> always. you want to start with reds or whites? Surprise me. Okay, well, we're going to start with Starlight Ridge. Starlight Ridge. Cabernet Ooh, Sauvignon. I love cabs. Sounds delicious right now. <laughs> but it's like still morning. We need to get past noon yeah. to really start celebrating National Beer Day. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is really pretty. Lone Cardinal Pinot Noir. Oh! That's very pretty. Very happy. <laughs> it's a fun bottle. I love that. Um, and then our last red, I think, the Aldridge. The Aldridge. I haven't tried a Shiraz Cabernet. It's I have Australian tried one. That's none fine. of these. Yeah. It's very, very exciting for me. And what I love about this is they're not relabels. These are yeah. actual from vineyards yes. that are producing these year after year. You can find all the time. Yes. So very cool stuff. Okay. So now we, oh, we're going to save that to last. That's a fun one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cannery Row. Oh, I, I think I've had this one. Cannery Row Chardonnay. Is it, Maybe. Wait, is it canary? Like the bird? No, it's cannery row because there's a fish. You f can fish. How do you spell canary? I think it's one in, in an A. That's cannery. That's cannery. That's cannery? Yeah, like you're canning fish. That's Tuna? That's awful. <laughs> Why would What's a white a, wine? Well, you drink white wine yeah, with Yeah, with fish. fish. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know. It has, you know, there's probably some history of the, uh, the, <laughs> of the winery. Somebody leave a comment. Somebody tell us what oh, we got here. If it's a just historical, tell us. yeah, just tell us. Okay, and this is the fun one. I think it's very. Nope, there's one more. I was one. like, there's not six. I ordered the six <laughs> bottle. I can count. I can count. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I have definitely had this one, Paper Bark. Yes, we've had that. That's this good. is actually a Ooh, very Sauvignon good Blanc, that's your favorite. South Australian Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, that's yummy. My favorites. Okay, now. Uh, okay. I saw butterflies. Yes, oh look my at this. Gosh. It's a vintage release from Les, Les Fleurs, a product of France. It's a rosé. Very pretty. So what happens is I love the bottle, so then I don't want to drink it because I want to be able to open the refrigerator and see it, and it becomes a thing. But it's really not a thing. She just kind of says that, but then she just drinks it. So I guess we just got to order more. Yeah, that's that's definitely what happens. Okay, so like I can't help myself. My wine rating app, I turned around and I scanned this guy and it says, this is a good match for you. It has a 3.6 out of 5, which we talked about this before. A 3.5 or above is what I'm looking for. I don't. I don't think I've ever even seen a 4.5. Yeah. I've seen a couple of fours. And it says it's a $16 bottle on that guy right there. Oh, shoot. This is an $18 bottle. It's a 3.9, and it oh. says it is a good match. Yeah, well, it's, it's got to be. It's such a great label. So I can tell you this. Uh, I rate my wine. So I will drink these. I'll go back into the app and rate them. That's why they're able to send me ones that are a great match for me because I've been talking with them back and forth on what I love. I think the price point is very competitive, an average of about $15 a bottle is where I land. Yeah. You can choose to go up above that. I just like lean towards the cheaper side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I usually go for about $15 a bottle. Great. If you don't want a subscription, just quarter some bottles. You do not have to do a subscription. They're very flexible over there. Highly recommend as a staple. Just keep this one going year round. You can still add on others from the grocery store because, I mean, you only get six. Let's say you do six or 12 bottles quarterly. Well, you could still pick up ones at the grocery store if you know a friend's coming over who's going to drink a Riesling and you're like, I ain't ever going to drink a Riesling. I don't want it in my subscription. You can still go stag though. So. This is a huge thumbs up. I don't even know if you know you've tried several of these. I don't know if I've ever pointed it out. Well, yeah, but this is oh, probably that's probably familiar. where we got that. Yeah, that's probably where I know from. Okay, okay. I ready? love, I love, I love. Let's start celebrating. I'm ready to go to the next box. Okay, what do I have on my list? Let's look. Oh, the next box is one you actually like. It's Oza. Oh, I love Oza. Okay, who has it? I've got it. 
Oh, you got all you got all the good stuff over there. Okay, so he's gonna grab Oza. Oza is one. This is how I titled it. Keep this subscription going straight through spring and summer as it's delicious and it's super convenient. So this one is uh, semi new to the channel. I think this is the second time we have opened this box. This mm -hmm. is Osla. It's a more of a subscribe and save. So you can set it up for monthly. A 24 pack is $67. A 36 pack is 84. 48 is 100 and it goes up from there based mm -hmm. on how frequent you're having the drink delivered. Shipping is free, but it's got crazy rules, so go down below to see which states they can and can't ship yeah. to. It's just the way it is, right? But you can use coupon code PINK20 to get 20% off your first shipment. And we have tried the Classic Mimosa. Actually, we hold tried a second. several of them. Let me do something real quick. Oh, From the fridge. Cold one. That's a good idea. Which mm. is the, this is the, uh, which one is it? Classic Mimosa. So I don't do real, real sweet. These aren't real, real sweet. Uh, so, so we've done the mimosa, the peach bellini, and the cranberry mimosa. All of them are delicious. Mm. Oza is the first exclusively canned cocktail designed for on-the-go sparkling wine needs. Oza is made with 80% less sugar, 60% fewer calories than the average, like, bake your own at home. Like, if we went to go grab the stuff and make it on our own. But it has all the classic tastes you know and love, full of flavor, total enjoyment, all natural, no junk. And, you know, we kind of mean, we get skeptical sometimes when we hear that. We're like, what does that mean? It's going to taste awful. No, no these it very good. are They're so very good. good. These are what we take to, for our picnics and stuff. Excellent for poolside. Um, and actually, recently, since it, I mean, here in Texas, we've already hit a couple of 97 degree days. Yeah. Uh, I've been drinking these in the evening, so. But let's show them what we got okay. in here. So, so we've got a fizzy red sangria. Yes. We have two fizzy red sangria. Because these are my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our classic oh, mimosa. mimosa. And, oh, this is a new one. No, we have not tried this one, yeah. The white sangria. White sangria. So Fizzy White, Classic Mimosa, Fizzy Red, and then the other one I would say is Cranberry is delicious as well. Um, yeah, so if earlier you heard me say 24 pack for $67 and you thought, oh my gosh, that's expensive. That's like $2.50 a drink. <laughs> it just, for me, it sounds expensive, but then when I run the numbers, I'm like, yeah. oh. For, I mean, cocktail. If I got this at a restaurant, it'd be $12. Yeah. And even if I, I don't even know if I can make it here at the house for $2.50. I definitely know I couldn't make it with locale natural ingredients yeah. Yeah. for $2.50. Yeah. So that's why I subscribe and save. I love Oza. This is uh, definitely, like I said, one of the ones I would keep as a staple straight through spring and summer. It's delicious, crisp, fun, and even boys like them. Four pack equals eight flutes. That's kind of good to know. Like a, like a, oh, like a, a champagne flute. flute. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's really good to yeah. know. Okay. All right. Oh, this next one is, so I did order you stuff, but as you can imagine, there's a lot of ladies here on the channel. So the next one is uh, wine again. Okay. Okay, what's next? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to hand this one, like, it's is a heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is uh, another wine subscription, except for where Wine Insiders just kind of gives you your good old-fashioned staple wines, like tried and true, great labels. I really love Dry Far Wives because they do natural vegan, keto, paleo, and low carb wine. So this is like your summer bod wine. Like I'm not gonna give up the wine, but I need to like kind of, you know, at least somewhat pursue the summer body. Did you say low alcohol? No, low carb. Low carb. Low carb, uh. big difference right there. So you choose the frequency. I think this is the second time I've showed this one, but it's $171 for six bottles. 323 for 12 bottles, okay. but it's premium wine. It's not, it's not the $15 bottles, it's premium wine. Free shipping in the US, once again, all the exclusions are down below, and you're gonna wanna use my URL to sign up because you're gonna get an extra bottle of wine in your first box for one penny. Oh. Yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> and, okay, so here I'm gonna be showing the quarter one member wine selections. You can choose all red, all white, or half and half, and Dry Farm Wines is leading the pure natural wine movement by sourcing wines according to the world's strictest criteria, organically grown from small family farms, mm. 
independent lab testing for purity of sugar-free, lower alcohol, meaning less than 12.5, oh, okay. free of all nasty additives, lower sulfites. That's a oh, big that's one a big that one. they asked for. A huge lower one. sulfites. Uh, fermented with wild native yeast, and as I said, vegan. Keto, paleo, and low-carb, GMO-free friendly. It wow. is, like, epic, the things that come in here. And the presentation's pretty. So you get this beautiful cover on the top, just kind of introducing you to your wines right here. You get this magazine. Which that, feels very eco-conscious. Oh, it is. It's beautiful, but it is made with 100% renewable energy in, on post-consumer waste. Yeah. And it's printed with all these notes. You also get these stickers so that if you pull everything out, of, out and you don't remember which one came from Dry Farm Wines, you can label. Put these on your bottles to distinguish which ones are your health certified wines. Oh, okay. Which, so, so you keep it like in your So I guess maybe you if have... you're <clears throat> having a consuming day, <laughs> you're like, which one? So. Oh, this is a pretty presentation. Got the bottles in here. It is. And. Okay. You're starting with a Landra per, per juice. Mm. Per juice. Oh, I don't know. It yeah, sounds, it's uh, <laughs> definitely a French wine. Sounds very fancy. Um, it's a rose. Oh, so okay. I told them to send a mix. I just wanted to try it all. And then we have Casalin Vineyards um, ro Rosato. Is a rose, I guess. An Italian yeah. rose. And then we have an empty bottle. Why is there an empty bottle, Samantha? I can explain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here's the cork. <laughs> I saved it. Yeah, you did. Um, okay. First, I would like to say I felt as though it would be irresponsible. Oh, to not taste it before. To not taste it before. She's looking out for y'all. And it was remarkably delicious. In <laughs> fact, this was a red. It was so good, and I was drinking it, that I went to meet with some friends. And normally, if I already had a bottle open, I would bring it to meet with my friends. Uh-huh. I left it here because I didn't want to share it. That is so stingy. <laughs> it's so stingy. This one has 11.5% alcohol. It was just light and crisp, and I, I loved it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, I kind of feel better now that I got that off my chest. Yeah. Um, so I just scanned this one, and it says, this is a good match for you, and this bottle has a 3.9 rating on my wine app, which I love seeing. Oh, yeah. And this one also says it's a good match for me, and it was. And it has a 3.6. I personally would have rated it way higher than a 3.6. I loved it. And so, once again, I, I scan. I do this on the app just to talk to you guys about we're not big into relabels. We don't like these mix-match made-up wines that you can't reorder. And I also like to hear what other people are saying. Just my opinion doesn't help much. But when a group leans in together, we can get a better consensus of what's happening. And so if you are pursuing, though, in a, in a slightly more serious manner, if you really are pursuing a healthier lifestyle, like y'all guys know, I can't do fructose. I can't do gluten. I really try to run towards a keto diet. Um, I love having wine si uh, insider for my splurge days. But on the regular I try to consume these lower sulfite, lower sugar wines. And to be real honest, they maybe even are a little more delicious because yeah. I have a, a free conscious while drinking. <laughs> okay. So we're going to kind of move along the same lines, different delivery. I'll show you what I mean. You don't want to continue opening these? You didn't know there's another row? <laughs> no, I didn't know there was another yeah, okay. row. So you've got a Greco Bianco. That's probably pronounced terribly. Yeah, that Greco was his, Bianco. Uh, that was so Texas. Like that, that was, was so screaming Gringo right Greco there. Greco Bianco. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes. Let um, me see. It's a white then. It's an Italian. Oh my gosh. Yeah, white wine. All oh right. my gosh. And this is a uh, French wine. They all have the same... Oh, you know what? I just noticed this. They all have their own uh, 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 back label that explains everything. Is that from Dry Farm Wine? Yes, like, so you can see on here, they put on oh, their... Oh, yeah, they did. They put their own because label. they are working with small batch family farms, so like they're... Yeah, they're very hands on in it's the, got the the region, the year, but the as you color, see, the, the varietal original so, seals, original corks. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, uh, seventy percent Sauvignon Blanc and thirty. So this is what he's talking about Simillion. on the back of the bottle. See how it has that detailed information there about the wine from Dry Farm. That's really super nice. helpful. 
And then our last one is... Uh, oh my gosh, I, I love that. I have no idea what this is. This is a red wine with 100% Zweigelt, mm -hmm. Zweigelt mm -hmm. grape. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. You're very good at this. Yes, I... Don't be expecting a job offer from Dry Farm anytime Look, soon. I don't have my application out for sommelier anywhere. That's good. That's good. Uh, Maybe just taste tester? Yes, I taste. I don't so you can go in, obviously, on the Dry Farm Wine app and review everything. That You can always use their happiness guarantee. I mean, I've never had to use it. I've been pretty daggum happy. But it is there if you need it. They have uh, wine tasting terms in here. So you could totally have the hookup. I read these things. I pour a glass and he looks over and he's like, what are you reading? I'm like, I got it in one of my boxes. It's just peaceful. Pairing, how to raise a good toast, how to store at the correct temperature, how to swirl, then sip. Those are fun things. Yeah. So yeah. this is another one I love that I highly recommend and feel guilt free. I cannot believe there were three more, more bottles in there. That makes me so happy. <laughs> If I'd have known those bottom three were in there, I probably would have drank another bottle. I felt guilty for drinking over half of it, but I didn't even get close. Okay, this is Besame Vino. I'm very excited. There's a few reasons. Literally right here, you can see it says, certified organic, certified sustainable, vegan and gluten-free. Just like Dry Farm Wines, I am trying to get healthier options in our diet. And I mean, I joke about like the summer bod, and, and it's true, like these are going to help you have a better summer bod but it's good for like all of your body organs and yeah. parts when you're not doing the heavier sulfites which will take care of those headaches but this is brand new to the channel uh for a 12 pack it's 61 dollars a month for a 24 pack it's 89 dollars a month i feel like those are oh, very yeah, fair is. prices free shipping in the u.s and if you use code pink 20 you get 20 percent off your first shipment and they harvest organically grown grapes vegan developed perfectly portioned to each of the packages we'll show you in just a sec gleefully gluten-free and low in sulfates, sweet and sensitive with no sugar added. You can choose from their all-day rosé, mix and match, or the just right whites, sustainably made and woman-owned. I'm very curious to see what's in this. Thing. Oh, I'm like, super excited. I, I have no idea. All that stuff you said, I have no idea what that means. Like, ah, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> like, hold like on, hold adorable. On. Let's show them. <laughs> So on top, you have these two items right here, which is, hand that to me, yeah. I'm too short. So a little handwritten note on one of their adorable postcards. Uh, is that a, a, a mouse pad? This looks like a mouse pad. I was gonna open it. It looks like also a bottle opener. Any of those things you squeeze? Spin here. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. It says right is here, it? scan for instructions, spin the besa. Oh, is it like a spin the bottle I don't pad? Know. <laughs> but I love, love, love these. So here's information on the whites and the rosés. QR code. You can read more, learn more, see more. But they're cans, y'all. Look. Throw them in the ice chest and go. They're that easy. Isn't that so cute? And then look at this empty bottle. Is, it, is this a spin the bottle thing? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Wait. You have to kiss the Nikon camera. Uh. <laughs> you would kiss the Nikon camera. You'd be okay with that. So, will you grab the thing and open that for me? I don't know what the rest of this is. It looks like something cute they sent for us to show off. But this is what I'm really excited about is having easy throw in your cart cans. And I looked for this stuff. Yeah, he went yeah. with me at HEB and local groceries. And I was I was striking out over and over. Uh, finding something that tasted good, was affordable. And then it was just, I wanted it to be there always. I don't want it to be there sometimes. Oh, this is, is it a card exciting. game? It is. It's a card game. <laughs> okay. There's rules to the game. Uh, read the card out loud. Whoever does the card keeps a card. You can refuse. Punishment is you have to drink. Oh, I'd be purposely oh, trying to a, lose. It's a drinking game. And I mean, there's all sorts. So here's more rules of when you sip, gulp, or shot. There's fun tweaks to the game. And then look. So it's just a party Truth, game. dare, challenge for the group activity. So like this one says, for the group. Everyone else drinks if you let each group member guess your SAT score. I don't even remember my SAT score. It was nothing to write home about. I probably <laughs> mentally blocked it. What's another one? Well, what's the difference in the pink ones and the blue ones? Well, they, like they're there. 
This is a, that's a, for the group, this is a dare. Everyone else drinks if you let the person in your right sniff your armpit. So I guess if you agreed to do it and I let you, we're free, but they have to drink. But oh here's the problem. God. I want to drink. So if I refuse, <laughs> can I do one? Anyhow, really, really cute touch to add to the box. Kind of shows you the character behind it. They're a fun group doing fun things. And this is another one of those subscriptions I'm saying keep going, especially during the spring and summer months where you're going and blowing a lot of the places you actually cannot bring glass to. These are great to have on hand. Throw in your ice chest and get going with a healthy, a more healthy approach and a cost efficient approach. We're so wild that I was like, oh, is this for opening cans? And you're like, is this a mouse pad? <laughs> mouse pad. <laughs> Have you ever played spin the bottle, like in real life? Uh, no, I haven't. Me Never. either. Never. Oh. But spin the bottle card game. We're about to rectify life. that, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're going to play just me and you. With. Okay. Okay, so the next boxes I want to show are a family favorite around here, Beast Book Post. Instead of showing the normal subscription box, which we've shown you guys a million times, we love it. We love the normal subscription box. I went and ordered from the online shop, meaning you don't have to do a subscription. You can just go pick these up. If you have the subscription, I believe you get like hookups, discounts for being a member. But if you're not, you can go check these out. I have two of them. Um... I have, will you grab the beer kit? Yes, I will. Very excited about this. And I got myself a mold wine kit. Oh, that's I've fun. I've never made mold yeah. wine. Oh, so it's, a, it's make your own. Yes, and you have the beer kit. Ah, uh, very fun. And so we have been really challenging ourselves and each other to do more with friends. And not necessarily like couples, like him and his guys, me and the girls. And you guys, once y'all have made like do your, your own whiskey, I thought this would be a lot of fun to make your own beer. And then the ladies and I have already talked about doing mold wine. That's exciting. So it just seemed to work work out. So yeah, it looks like it's... So the regular subscription is like $49 a month and it's crazy good. It's mostly for men, um, but they have exchanges, returns, you can preview, you can swap your box. I mean, I'm telling you, it's the most epic experience. But his... This is like everything you need. Like, like I, I'm actually very impressed. I've this kit's only $48 too. Really? It's only for mine's 49, yours is 48. So they're under 50 affordable options. So I've I've done stuff Ooh. close to this before, but I've never actually done the whole thing. But that'd be cute for decorating. No, you can't have this. I'm just saying some flowers. Think about it, ladies. Flowers no, coming no, you out. You can't have it. Mm. So it's got um, a thermometer so that you can um, you have to make sure the temperature stays right while your yeast is cooking and fermenting and all that stuff. Comes with hops, all kinds of different types of hops. So oh, wow. you can make different kinds of beers. Okay. Um, here's your malted barley, I'm guessing. I mean, it looks like it's a mix. It's got a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, grain, hops and yeast for your first batch. Yeah, so, well, grain, hops, so grain, hops. Oh. And then here is the, no, that's sanitizer. It's here. in here, yeah. Citra hops, yeah. passion fruit, lime, Mango, pine, passion fruit, black pepper for Simcoe hops. I don't know. And Amarillo hops with passion fruit, lime, and mango. Interesting. So this is probably just like the, the um, I want to flavor smell profile em. that it adds. That's really, and there's actually not that much in there. They're freeze dried, so they last longer. And yeast. And yeast, yeah. So yeah, that's all that goes into beer. And then it goes in here and ferments for a while. And then uh, you siphon it out so that you don't get all the uh, junk, with all the, yep. the ingredients, and you just get the liquid. And then you have beer. Oh, that's really cool. And then, I mean, this stuff would be consumed, but you have all this, and you can just keep using yep. it over and over yep. and over. Yep. Okay. I have much simpler mold wine. Did yours not come with a pretty little booklet? No. My, oh, it's on the box. Leave it to, it's right there on the box. Efficiency, gentlemen, efficiency. I want the booklet and this pretty little instructional guide and has all the pictures and uh, just all the things. It's it gorgeous. It smells really good. It's mold wine, it's spices, it smells right? really good. So, whole cloves. We got dried orange funny. slices. There okay. we go. What are these? A cardamom pods, anise stars, cinnamon sticks. The, so you'd like the cinnamon yeah, sticks on here, yeah, what's that guy called? Yeah. 
Uh, so you pick your ingredients in here, oh, put it in the like wine, a, like a big tea bag, and it'll like steep a, it, yeah, but not. Steep oh, bag. nutmeg, and then literally you can serve it by scooping and pouring it into a for? teacup. A mulling, a mulling ladle. Okay. Oh, zester, that's the word, whole spices. It's very simple, which is a shocker that I've never done it. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, when I think I want to do it, then I have to stop and go get it, yeah. and it just never happens. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have these. Where do you find cardamom pods? I don't know, like, yeah, and, for real. And anise stars. Anise stars, aren't those pretty? Yeah, are those are pretty. great for decorating, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, I want these on hand. Next time we have a guy's night, girl's night, we grab it, we go, we yeah, have something fun, fun we can do. And once again, this is a, interactive option mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's not a subscription unless you want it to be. I'm gonna put the information to join Bespoke Post down below. Highly recommend. Yep. As well as the link for these two. Very cool. Okay, good mix, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So my next one is actually if you wanna join in on the fun but you don't drink alcohol. Uh -huh. We have Hayo. We've shown Hayo one other time. Yep. It was the first time we were ever introduced to anything of this sort. Uh -huh. Now we happen to know we're big fans. We, I love it. Like, I love Hyos. I, I hope that they sent my favorite flavor. I actually don't know what they sent. I said just to send me a selection. That's exciting. So this is the better than alcohol alternative. There is no alcohol. It is a, like a subscribe and save. So monthly, you can get 12 cans for $40, which is about $3 a drink. Um, use the coupon code PINK5 to get 5% off your first subscription. Shipping is free in the U.S. They do have four flavors to choose from. Peach, mango, watermelon, lime, and blackberry. They are crafted with organic adaptogens, natural nootropics, and functional botanicals. Hayo provides a stress-relieving, mood-boosting lift they call The Float. It has a name now. When we oh, first started playing so on their website. I get it. It's called The Float, right? Yeah. Feel The Float in a delightful, stress-relieving time of 1.5 grams of organic adaptogens, nootropics, and botanicals packed into each can. Okay. So if you still want to be relaxed, this is an all-natural yeah. relaxing. Yeah. So, it really is like relaxing. It's not. It's not a gimmick or anything. Like you really do. It, it, it just, does. It like, just chills. Chill. Uh, USDA organic certified. Only thirty calories and a guaranteed no hangover because of how this is crafted. Their packaging is gorgeous. Their packaging is gorgeous. Um, it does have juice in it, but like this one says 8% juice, 7% juice. It's a low count juice, so you're not putting on the calories, which is a big deal for me. If I want a stress relieving drink, I drink in the evenings. I do not want to be packing on the calories in the sugars and all of these things, right, while trying to go to sleep. So what do I have here? Oh, I have the watermelon lime. Sounds so good. Wait, let me turn it so I can see. There we go. There's watermelon lime. Isn't that great? And then here we have the peach mango. Oh, sounds right so there. good. Once again, an easy can. You can throw in an ice chest and keep going. You can have it in the evenings before bedtime. It's just easy. And then blackberry lemon. Also a very good sounding flavor. Yeah. We didn't have any that we didn't like. No. We powered those. I haven't those. had any of these, so these are great. So non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, 30 calories, zero alcohol. Another, I keep saying healthy, but that's what defines healthy for me. <laughs> Another healthy option for a fun drink. We, uh... We love drinks around yeah, we here. Do. We do. We, we love drinks. We do a lot of drinks. Like, I very rarely cook or bake desserts or sugars. But drinks, we keep lots of drinks <laughs> on hand. Okay. This is fabulous. I want to end with a drama llama. I, well, what's a drama llama? Oh, you're about to see. I'm a little nervous. When I pull the box up, you're going to go... Oh, okay. Oh, it's a, it's another box. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> drama llama. Drama llama. Wink. <laughs> wink wine. What do we say about wink wine? They've been around as long as I have been. Yeah, They're time. an OG in subscriptions yep. who have never figured it out. <laughs> I was like, the only way I know how to describe it. And yeah. I keep trying them because y'all know my rule. I'm not going to judge somebody on a one time. I'm not going to judge them on something they did a year ago. We're always evolving. We're always growing. So I keep checking in on them. Wink is a wine subscription that just filed for bankruptcy. Yep. Hence the drama llama. It's a monthly subscription. $59.95. Uh, shipping is all over the place. You can go down below. They are still selling the box. I just ordered this one just to test it out. So I guess they're filing for bankruptcy for restructuring. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. They just got done with the restructure, like what, last year? 
So I'm really don't know what they're the restructuring the restructure, I guess. Okay. I don't yeah. know. Um, historically, I have not liked Wink, ever liked any of their stuff. So I did my due diligence, and here, I'll let you open that, okay. and did taste it before I brought this on here. So you're going to see a bottle missing. I forgot to save the bottle. So it's like legit all the way missing. <laughs> But you're charged a monthly fee, which becomes a credit. The credit is deposited into your account that you can then go shopping with. So there's a little bit of legwork to get your wine. I don't get the monthly charge versus the credit thing. It's really kind of weird. Um, you can let your credits build up so you can buy more. Once again, don't get why you would want to do that. I don't get the premise. I don't get the subscription. I don't identify with it. It's really weird. Um, individual wines range from $12.99 to $39.99. You can skip and cancel. Uh, they do have a tendency to kind of give you a little bit of a runaround. So there's your heads up. The first bottle, I don't even know what it was. It was uh, okay. I ended up using it to mix it into something else. So it wasn't so good that I'd be willing to drink it. I ended up putting like a sangria juice or something in it. And then it was fine. Right. Um, I have not tried either one of these. Uh, this actually, I don't know. I can't ever tell. They do relabel. No, no this is bottled by. So they're, 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 this is their own... Now Their they might brand. The, like the grapes might have come from France, or they might have bought the juices and stuff from them. But this is their own blends. their own blends. Let's see if any of them pull on my app. Normally they Actually, don't. It's probably, it's probably not their own blends. They probably just, yeah relabel. Oh yeah, this one. It says it's in my app. There's no ratings. Nobody's talked about it. So let's see about this one. Oh, <laughs> so this is a what? Does it say here? A a Zygwell? A Actually, one of the other ones I think have that, I don't, that grape I, in it. For somebody, it's an Australian. It's an Australian grape. It looks like it's a red, which is interesting. I've never heard of it. Uh, it has a retail value of $18. It says, this is going to be a poor match for you. Okay. <laughs> but it has a 3.7. That's so, 242 ratings, not a whole bunch. But, but I mean, not yeah, bad. Yeah. So, um, I honestly heard they filed for bankruptcy and knew I had some credits. So I ran in there and cashed in my credits. So yeah, this had to throw myself yeah. one little drama llama in. <laughs> okay, so this was a whole lot of fun. Like, uh, I wish we would have been able to sample a few more. I of sampled them. a bit more than you. You were did able sample, to sample a whole lot more than I did. I'm a little jealous, but that's okay. My beers are already in the fridge. They're they're there ready to be. And it's your second or third time to have that one, so you've already given me a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're from really good breweries. So. Yeah. So this is, once again, these are all tried and tested. Maybe the first time they've been featured on here, but I have wanted to put together a beer, wine, plus alternatives tour, and I wanted to keep it concise, and I felt like that was a great lineup for just about anybody who drinks, enjoys alcohol or not alcohol. Okay. Where are we going next? I have some Mother's Day stuff happening. Okay. I've got some Father's Day stuff happening. Mm -hmm. Teachers. I've got some teachers stuff happening. Our normal unboxings, and believe it or not, we're moving into summer home decor like in the next couple of weeks. Isn't that wild? It's wild. Some of y'all are still in feet of snow, and I'm about to start launching summer home decor. It just, it's just really kind of just crazy. But... We are seeing a lot of really cool stuff this season. I feel like just as subscription boxes as a whole are upping their ante, upping their game, and I am here for that. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, this is also a great video to share with a friend because it has all of the information on a variety of different drinks. We also have a blog post with all of this information, so you can head over to the blog over there. We've got coupon codes to share. These are tried and true, so you don't have to wait for me to loop back on an empties and tell you whether it's good or not. They're good. We're telling you to go for it. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day, and if you subscribe to the channel, we'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all. Cheers.